What's up guys, welcome back to Kerr Outdoors. On today's episode, we're here at the 2020 Western Hunting and Conservation Expo. We love coming to this expo every single year. We're here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, we just like coming to the expo to see the new products in the hunting industry, meet some of the guys, um, and that's exactly what we're doing today. Uh, we're just doing kind of like a vlog style, so we're gonna bring you guys along and show you guys what we see and show you guys some of our favorite products and our favorite booths, and yeah, it should be a really good time, and we hope you guys enjoy. Okay, stay tuned. All right, guys, well, we're over here at the Hush booth. Um, we figured we'd come see these guys first when it's not as busy. Um, last night, I was able to go to the uh, Hush movie night, and that was an amazing experience. Uh, they did a lot of cool stuff for um, a man with a disability, and he couldn't get out and, and hunt as much, and I thought that was amazing. There was a lot of money donated to uh, make it so he was able to hunt more, and yeah, I just want to say I think what you guys are doing is great. Um, yeah, for sure. So also, question, um, if you guys had any advice to give a first time hunter or someone getting into hunting, what would that be? Man, that's tough. A first time hunter, uh, hunting is kind of hard to get started, you know. I think uh, it's very helpful if you have a mentor or a friend to help you get going. But uh, if not, online chat forums and social media is a way to connect with people. And uh, just reach out, make friends that are already into hunting, and maybe they can help you get started with Hunter's Ed and a lot of mentor programs from state to state. Just uh, getting out there, maybe even without a tag, and just getting out there tagging along with somebody would be a great way to start. I think that's a good one. I also think uh, go to your local archery pro shop. There's always people hanging out there that are passionate about hunting, and there's no doubt about it. Uh, they'll take you under your wing and show you kind of a little bit about what you're about to get into. So kind of dovetails off Eric's advice, but that would be my advice. Head to your local pro shop. Yeah, that's a good place to find some friends. Yeah. Anything, Mark? My advice would be, yeah, even if you don't have a tag, just go out and watch animals and observe and learn about them. And then um, to take it a next step, maybe once, if you are interested in hunting that area, you can hop on Onyx or, and, uh, and go hunt. And those are good, helpful uh, tools to learn about units, how to get, how to get tags, and uh, all the regulations and whatnot. So those would be my steps to take. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I think we need to do the annual takeover vlog, right? The takeover, yes. So guys, this is the definitely. Kerr Outdoors. Kerr Outdoors. Every year we do the takeover vlog here at the Hush booth. Yep. There we go. <laughs> so uh, not much has changed at the Hush booth. We're still, you know, got the apparel and everything. One thing that has changed is his height from when we started this <laughs> annual thing. He is a lot taller. If you guys need to go back to the videos on his channel in the video library, you can see that some of the first ones that we did every year. Yeah. But uh, we can never forget this guy because we're fun. Kerr Outdoors YouTube Outdoors, channel. That's right. How many uh, years in a row has it been now? Uh, I think this is three annual vlogs. <laughs> three three annual yeah. vlogs. Yeah. I, I remember hopping on YouTube searching Hushin or Hunt Expo, yeah. and his videos was one of the first ones to come up that we did a, a vlog takeover. That was a lot of fun. So I'm going to take over the vlog for a minute, yeah. cruise around the booth, show you guys uh, the Hush booth. And uh, go say what's up to some guys like Logie and Gager. Say what's, what's up, up, what up to the vlog. What's the name of the channel? Kerr Outdoors. Kerr Outdoors? Oh yeah, we do an annual vlog with Kerr Outdoors every year. Yeah. We're here, we're at the booth, we're live. So one thing that uh, we brought down this year due to popular demand is the Fire Bowl. This is a replica set that was built in the sheds and that is also the, the Hush logo. So we got this little station over here. The bull that he was telling you about that Daniel shot from a wheelchair, from a tracks chair actually, is right there mounted in the corner. And other than that, we got just some sheds for displays. And obviously, Braley's big bull we got mounted over yeah. here. And then uh, BMAX big Wyoming bull is also mounted in there. So if you guys can, when is this going live? When is this going live? When is this going live tonight? Tune in tonight. If you can make it to Salt Lake, Make sure you come to the Hunt Expo. Come say what's up to everybody yes. at the Hush booth. Again, thank you, Kerr Outdoors, yeah, for having us for on sure. the vlog. Yeah, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. You got some crafty transition? Definitely. Anything, Kate? Guys, you know what it is. This is our annual yep. fourth or third? Uh, third or fourth. That third or fourth <laughs> year I've been on the Kerr Outdoor vlog. That's right. Here at the 
2020 Western Hunting and Conservation Expo. Yeah. That's right. What, what, what's your thoughts on the expo this year? Um, I don't know. I think it's awesome. I mean, it gets better and better every year. The booths are a lot bigger this year. Um, there's definitely no shortage of uh, new cool stuff to look at and buy, so I think it'll be awesome. We, I want to know you. I got to ask you this. I think I ask you every year. When are you going to have a booth here? Uh, I don't know. Next Hopefully year? the next couple years, yes. Let's shoot Just for the stars. The shoot for the stars, yeah. Website launches in the next goal. couple days. Let's make a goal right now. Okay. Next year, next year. Some capacity. You're going to have a booth yes. down here. <laughs> so right. some hats. Yep. There you meeting go. people, meeting the people who watch you, yeah. having a good time. That's the goal. Okay. You guys are watching. That's that your sounds goal. good. I just set your goal. Is that okay? Yeah, that's great. You okay. guys heard it. 2021. 2021. Western Crowd Hunting and Conservation, come down. It's going to be here. It's going to be good. Okay, yeah, I'm also. Hold you to it. Okay, sounds good. So, Casey, I've got a question. Okay. So, for any um, hunters that are just starting up or any new time hunters, what's any advice that you could give to them? Like, what's any advice for new time hunters? Any new time hunters, I would recommend this to any hunters, but very important for new time hunters. Go and have fun. Don't take it too serious. Go and have fun and learn as much as you can on every trip. Every trip's not going to be successful, but every trip you can learn some, something from it and you can use it on your next hunt. And eventually you're going to become successful. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes, definitely. Okay, there you guys have it. Any new time hunters, there's your advice. There's your, there's your advice. Take okay. it to the bank. There you go. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much, Thanks, Casey. man. Always yeah. good seeing you. For sure. It's good, good seeing you, too. Okay. Okay, so we're over here at the booth with Hill People Gear. Um, I'm here with Casey, and he's going to tell you guys a little bit about his product. All right, so big for us this year is the new Recon Snubby Kit Bag with the Bino Harness Attachment. What sets this apart from any bino harness you've seen before is its ability to conceal carry a firearm protected out of the elements in the rear compartment. This particular awesome. model will fit up to a Glock 19 size or a Commander size 1911. The bino harness attaches to the kit bag with PALS attachments. It's easy to flip it up and access your binoculars and also your firearm. That's awesome. Uh, what is the price range on the bino harness? So this one's going to run you $130. Show special is tax free and shipping free because we are direct to consumer, uh, direct to consumer retailer. Yeah, that's awesome. And he was telling me earlier that they are based out of Colorado, um, that their products are made in the USA, tested in the USA, and I think that is pretty awesome. So, yeah. Um, what's your guys' website? Uh, you can find us at hillpeoplegear.com. Hillpeoplegear.com. There you go. There you go, guys. Okay. Make sure you guys go check them out. Uh, as you can see, this Bino Harness is just one of their many great products. So, yeah, feel free to check them out. Their link will be in the description below. Okay. All right, guys. So, we're doing our vlog for the 2020 Western Hunting and Conservation Expo, and we made our way down to the One Ray Gear booth. Um, I'm here with Joel Williams. He is the founder of One Ray Gear. Um, and, yeah, do you want to just tell us a little bit about your um, gear line, your camo? Uh, and just what it's all about. Well, as everybody knows, Stanley is a, is a great supporter of our brand, and we're grateful for this guy. Um, well, you know, we, we're a camouflage clothing company, and we build technical hunting gear, and um, we have a unique style in which we uh, build and our camouflage pattern. Um, the method for our design is by overlaying EKG lines that uh, replicate nature. Um, in nature, there's what they call fractal geometry. Okay? And fractals are what make up nature. It's how they measure shorelines and so forth. And so the heart produces a natural fractal rhythm. And so we've taken that uh, idea, that concept, and we've uh, utilized in the camouflage design, and so now we can build patterns that I, just I got work. They work. They, they flat out work. Guys that are wearing our camo, uh, they're the ones that have proven to us that it works. And, yeah. and uh, so we're just excited. We're excited to be here at another Western Expone. We were excited to see Stan come yeah. up, and we love this guy. He's, he's awesome. Yeah, if you guys go back through all of our videos this last hunting season, um, I actually harvested my biggest buck to date with my bow this year. 
um, one of my biggest hunting accomplishments, and I was wearing full one ring gear, and there's no doubt in my mind that this one ring gear is a game changer, and that it aided me in that hunt like exponentially. So you guys need to go and check it out, oneringgear.com. Um, they're on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube as well. Uh, go check them out, guys. Like I'm, I, I wouldn't lie to you guys. I'm not kidding. This stuff is legit. So you guys better go check it out, and yeah. Great. Alrighty guys, so we made our way down to the Mountain Ops booth. Um, I'm here with Jordan Harvinson, and I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about Mountain Ops and what's so great about you guys at the Expo, any kind of specials you have going on. So today we've got some awesome specials. Um, as you guys can see here, let's turn the camera so everybody can see this. We've got our hydration station right here that's got all of our Ignite and Enduro to sample. We've got a full layout of our gear and more of our products here for consuming. The entire store, all all week long is 30% off, so if anybody wants to come, if you're already a Mountain House customer and you just want to get your discount, come take advantage of that. If you're trying for the first time, there's no better time to buy than now with 30% off. As you can see over there, that's Joey Meter, my, my, one of my good friends who's singing on our live stage. So we've got uh, different people coming to the booth that are going to be doing live Q&As. We've got music, we've got games, we've got just a ton of fun stuff. So the nice thing is, is it's Thursday. Yeah. So you guys, we're all able to do this today, yeah. which is great. And uh, and so it's nice, good, steady flow, but tomorrow and Saturday is going to be Yeah. Okay, there you have it, guys. This video goes up tonight, Thursday night. So if you guys are able to, come down uh, Friday, Saturday. Check out the Mountain Ops booth. See, our booth is number 4642. Okay. Just listen for the loud, obnoxious noise. There you go. Okay. And then also, if you're at home and you're not able to make it to the show, please make sure that you go to our website, www.mountainops, that's M-T-N-O-P-S.com. Check us out. And then do what you're supposed to do, which is go down to the red button and subscribe to there this guy. Yes. And then why don't you leave a comment below and tell us what your favorite part about this whole vlog was. And maybe he'll give you something from Mountain Ops from us to you. Maybe. Maybe. We'll How see. about this? You guys comment below. Tell him your favorite part, which was this part. And then uh, he's right. going to pick one of the comments below. And you're going to win a package from Mountain Ops. There you go. Sounds good? Sounds like a deal. That just happened. Okay. Nice. All right, there you guys have it. Okay. Noggin. Go ahead. All right, guys, so we made our way over to the Gear Rack booth. Um, I'm here with Jeremy, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his product. Uh, it's a bino harness, but yeah, so he's going to tell us a little bit about um, why this bino harness is so great. So here's our Gear Rack bino harness. It's basically a one handed operation, fully adjustable. You can put as much tension as you want on it. It's a closed cell foam, so you can't get water through it basically waterproof unless you submerge it. Our straps, our forward pull straps, um, our pockets will hold their elasticity so you can put whatever you want in there. Um, we have a pocket in the back so you can put SD cards, licenses, whatever you want in it. On the inside we've got a tether that you can put your binoculars so you don't drop them. If you do drop them, they're not gonna hit the ground. We've got a lens cleaning cloth right there. Also a lens pen holder right here. This will, this um, EVA foam will actually mold your binoculars, take the shape of your binoculars. So, yeah, pretty slick system. We got mole webbing on the bottom. We can attach rangefinder pouch. We have other accessory pouches that will attach here, here, or here. You can attach radio to it, whatever you want. So. That's awesome. Yep, sweet. Thanks. Yeah, guys, here at Kerr Outdoors, we're all about finding um, affordable but durable gear. And I definitely think that this bino harness fits the bill. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of this from a Gear Rack, um, the link will be down in the description. And yeah, go, go ahead and uh, head over to the, these guys' website. What's your guys' website? GearRack.com. GearRack.com. There you go, guys. They got a, a, a expo special. Yep. Yeah. $65 for the rangefinder pouch and the, the bino harness. Okay, so if you guys can get down here in the next two days, make sure you guys come down and hit up this Expo Special and I don't think you'll be disappointed, so, okay. All right guys, so I just really ran into Joel um, here in the hall uh, from Whitetail Fit. What's up guys? How are you guys doing? We're here at the Hunt Expo. Uh, it's day one, it's Thursday. No, it's Wednesday, isn't it? Thursday. Thursday? Okay, yeah. it's Thursday. It's I'm all blending together. My head. <laughs> it's Thursday, day one here at the Hunt Expo. Um, we have a ton of people here today, but this show gets absolutely nuts Friday, Saturday. So yeah. if you want to come check it out, 
today's a good day to do it, but yeah. come check it out this weekend. Ton of fun, and uh, we're just hanging out. Yeah, for sure. It's way cool to see the Expo get bigger and bigger every year. Absolutely. Since the first year, like five or six years ago, it's it's big now. So, yeah. yeah. If you guys can, make sure you guys come down, check it out. Maybe I'll run into Joel over here from Whitetail Fit. Uh, if you guys want to check out any of his stuff, he's on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, links to his stuff will be down in the description. So, Thanks yeah. so much, buddy. Oh, yeah, it. for sure. Yeah. Okay, we'll get back to it. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we are here um, at the 2020 Western Hunting and Conservation Expo. Um, I've stopped by the Bone Tats booth. Um, this is the second year in a row that I've been here. Uh, he does some really cool and amazing uh, artwork on these skulls, and I just want to have him tell you guys a little bit about that. Yeah, second year, thanks to people who support. The brand keeps getting bigger, but you know, obviously this is where it's at. So. Tell me what you think. Skill level increased from last year to this year? Definitely, I like, think so. insanely. I mean, as with anything, right? The more you do it, the better you get at it. You yeah. just gotta work hard and be intentional and all that kind of stuff, but, yeah. yeah. Here's just some of his work, guys. There's three skulls that he's done recently. This one's really cool. Yeah, that is awesome. Okay, yeah. well, if you guys ever wanna get a hold of this guy, how can they get a hold of you? Yeah, so Instagram is kind of the biggest platform where Bone Tats exists. It's one of those weird companies that's born and lives on a social media platform. Obviously, it's starting to expand out a little bit more now. But Facebook, Bone Tats, Instagram, at Bone Tats. Uh, you can look me up on Google, any of that kind of stuff now. So lots of ways to get a hold of me. But yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome, man. He's got all sorts of merchandise, like he, as you can see, all sorts down here. So yeah. Okay. Thanks, you guys. All right, guys, so we're here at the Canvas Cutter booth, and here is Ben Shed Crazy. Um, uh, uh, ben, do you want to tell us just a little bit about Canvas Cutter and about some of your products? Sure. So Canvas Cutter basically is built off a traditional cowboy bedroll. It's the most sleep, well, the most durable, the most simple sleep system that there is on the market. I mean, you can throw it out in the snow, in the mud, in the rain, climb inside, you're good to go in any conditions. If you have a buddy and you don't want to sleep in, is nasty sheets when you're passing through town. Throw it out on the floor. Anyway, it's a super tough product, has a great warranty, lasts forever. As for my stuff, I just sell dumb shirts and hats. It's kind of my thing. I have a few here at the expo. We've been slinging a little bit of merchandise and having a good time. So. Yeah, that's awesome, definitely. Yeah, it's been cool to see the expo grow so much over the last few years from all like it being super tiny and now the booths are getting bigger there's way more vendors so yep. it's an awesome experience okay well there you guys have it once again this is shed crazy he's on youtube instagram facebook all of that so make sure you guys go check him out his links will be in the description so go hit him up okay thanks guys yeah all right guys so we're over here at the canvas cutter booth and here off to the side is hidden instinct um, i've watched these guys for a while they do a lot of cool coyote hunting and maybe you can tell us a little bit uh, more about what you guys do uh so we do we do a little bit of hunting of everything coyote hunting is kind of what we've got niched with we do a lot of shed hunting fishing big game hunting but kind of we specialize in coyote hunting uh, there's four of us there's myself Right behind me, you can see Tim right there. Right here, we got Big Water. And they're both new with us this year. And then we got Micah right over there. I need to sit down for a minute. So, so that's what we do. Uh, kind of our big thing we do every year. Well, we've done it the last two years. Has been we call the Coyote Tour. Um, we try and get out for 30 days and kill as many coyotes as we can. 30 days consistently. Uh, last year we killed like, was it 104, 106 in a 30 day wow. period. That's crazy. Uh, this year we didn't get travel out quite as much. I uh, didn't get out quite as much as we wanted to. Mike, I had some family things. I got in a really bad car accident. Oh jeez. Uh, uh, broke some rib, neck, just nose, everything. Wow. But. Um, we still manage around 8, 75, 80, I believe. But wow, that's um, crazy. It's been, it's been, we've been going for about five years now, almost five years. In March will be five years, but that, yeah, that's what we do. It, um, we've got, like, say, Hidden Instincts, our YouTube channel, Hidden Underscore Instinct on Instagram, and. Yeah, that's, that's basically what we do, man. That's awesome, yeah. Okay, there you go. If you guys are interested in any of that, um, definitely go and check out them. Like you said, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all of that. Yep. Um, are you guys selling your merchandise on a website? Or? Yeah, we've got our website, uh, hiddeninstinct.net. We've got, right now we've got our merchandise on there. We've got uh, Sly Dog Predator gear, the ground and pound chairs, the absolute game changer. If you guys haven't seen them, look into those. You'll see us using them in all our videos uh, soon. 
right now we've actually got uh, Canyon coolers on there and soon hopefully we'll be having uh, some King's Camo bundles that we'll be selling on our website as That's well. That's awesome. Hopefully here in the next month or so we'll be able to get those things ironed out. So yeah, again, hit instinct.net. Okay. Check it out. Yeah, there you go, guys. Okay. And if you guys can, make sure you guys come down to the expo and feel free to come talk to these guys. They're super yep. nice and I'm Do sure it. they'd be happy to. So. Do it. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Alright guys, well that is a wrap for the trip to the 2020 Western Hunting and Conservation Expo. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, we had an amazing time. Uh, we were able to share with you a, a bunch of our favorite booths and our, uh, our favorite companies um, and some new companies that we met today that we'll definitely be doing business with. If you guys are interested in checking out One Rate Gear, um, you can go to their website onerategear.com um, or the link will be in the description of this video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you guys go subscribe, drop a like, and I'll see you guys next week.